The third annual Army Combatives Competition brought out teams from across the Army. As Gail McCabe reports, it's a competition where training and sport are found in the ring. It's got the excitement of reality TV. For the 196 fighters competing in the 2007 Army Combatives Invitational Tournament, this is real. They came from across the Army as far as Guam and Korea. They fight in seven weight categories. Each match is three five minute rounds. Oh, I love this stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. For the fighters, crossing into the ring brings them a step closer to victory. It needs to be more. Yeah. It's all in the sport. The sport of combatives is a compelling mix of wrestling, boxing, and martial arts. A potent blend of disciplines that draws on technique as much as stamina. Matt Larson, tournament director, says it's a natural sport for soldiers. It's fighting. This is what soldiers should be doing. Modern combatives is a sanctioned element of Army training, a reflection of current battlefield operations where hand-to-hand -hand combat can come into play. When you bang through a door into a, a room in Iraq, how big do you suppose the room is? You know, maybe eight, ten feet deep? When you get in that door, it's not a marksmanship contest, and all your technology doesn't help. At that point, it's a fight. The fighters, like these here, are trained to use what they've got. It's a sport just like any other. It's going to seem like violence, but there's a graduated set of rules. The majority of winners are declared by judge's decision, referee stoppage, or a state of submission. This is a, good arena, a great arena to hone your skills. You won't die here. <laughs> You're not going to die here. The two-day double elimination event encompassed almost 600 fights and produced 28 overall winners, setting the stage and wedding appetites for next year. Gail McCabe. Fort Benning, Georgia. In addition to individual awards, team trophies were also given out, and Fort Bragg took the first place trophy.